Hey everyone, I have a helper with me today because we can do more when we work together. Right, Lucas? Uh, right, Mom. <laughs> We've had so much fun this month imagining all the ways we can use our creativity. Creativity is imagining what you could do because you're made in God's image. And God's creativity is indescribable. There are no limits on God's creativity, Mom. That's right. He doesn't just create interesting animals, for example. He also creates them with cool abilities and instincts, like how zebras and ostriches work together. Zebras have really great eyesight, but their sense of smell isn't so great. Ostriches, on the other hand, have a really strong sense of smell, but their eyesight's poor. So these two animals hang out together. The zebra keeps a lookout while the ostrich does the smelling. That way, both animals help each other stay safe from predators. Or, what about the crocodile and the plover? Check out this photo. It looks like that, that crocodile is about to get his next meal, but really, it's the bird that's getting fed. You see, the bird is doing the crocodile a favor by cleaning out all the food that's stuck in the crocodile's teeth. It's kind of like his trip to the dentist. Yeah, it's a little disgusting, but it's also brilliant. Only God would create animals with such smart, creative instincts. Yeah, sometimes things can seem impossible when you have to do them alone. But if you have a buddy with you, you can use your creativity to come up with a solution together. That's right, Lucas. Today, we've got a great story for you from the book of Mark, chapter 2, verses 1 through 12, about four really creative friends. When Jesus was on the earth around the age of 30, he began teaching and healing people. Large crowds gathered wherever he went. They wanted to hear what he had to say and see him performing miracles. Jesus lived in Capernaum, but because he was so popular, he had to leave for a while. It was too hard for him to get around town to teach. When Jesus decided to come home, word spread quickly. So many people gathered to see him that there was no room left, not even outside the door. There was a man close by who wanted to join the crowds to see Jesus for himself, but there was a big problem. You see, the very reason the man wanted to get to Jesus was the reason he couldn't get to Jesus. He couldn't walk. How could someone who couldn't walk possibly get near Jesus? Things were about to change for this guy because his friends came to his rescue. That's right, they decided to use their creativity. They put their friend on a mat and they decided to carry him to Jesus. The only problem was there were so many people, there was no way to get him through the door. Once again, the friends came up with a creative solution to the problem. They climbed up on the roof with their friend and they made a hole in the roof of the house and lowered the man down on the mat. The people already in the room may have been a little confused and frustrated. They'd come to hear Jesus teach and then this guy barges in? Couldn't he wait his turn? But Jesus took notice of his faith. He stopped what he was doing and said, Son, your sins are forgiven. The other people were probably thinking, What? Who is this guy? Only God can do that. Jesus knew what they were thinking and said, Why are you thinking these things? Is it easier to say to this man, Your sins are forgiven? Or to say, Get up, take your mat, and walk. But I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. Jesus was telling them that he did have the authority because he was the Son of God, and then he proved it. Jesus told the man, get up, take your mat, and walk. And that's exactly what he did. The people were amazed and praised God. They said, we've never seen anything like this before.
It's amazing how those guys work together. Yeah, God gave them the creativity they needed to get their friend to Jesus. And God created them to work together. And he did the same for you and me and Lucas. God created us to work with others. Yeah, God can do amazing things through you, especially when you use your creative ideas with other people. God made each of us in his own image to reflect who he is to the people around us. And we can do so much more together, together than we ever could alone.